in hospital, but he wanted to, or I should say the army, the Israeli army and the hospital, and again, identifying war victims. Eli, he wanted to be a part of this so bad that he's flown to Memphis, coaching, and then he's flying right back to Israel. How about that? Yeah, that's uh, just an absolutely amazing, amazing story. And uh, great to have him here in Memphis. Certainly, it's so unfortunate, all the things that are going on over there. But uh, just really an incredible story. For those who don't know, this is 16 of the top Jewish high school varsity basketball teams assembled in one place. This tournament started back in 2007, but has not taken place the last three years because of COVID-19 and everything that has corresponded with that. Ten different states are represented as it returns here in 2023 and in this beautiful facility, the Memphis Sports and Events Center. It's one of the largest Jewish high school athletic events in North America. Yesterday was opening day. Teams were seated, and then after yesterday's action, they were reseated. Eight going into Tier 1, eight into Tier 2. So these are Tier 1 teams. These are teams that certainly had big games yesterday, and much is expected of them. Yeah, and again, you look at the scores. Just look at the scores for these two teams from yesterday. After a 73-66 game, you think they, they probably want to play a little faster pace than North Shore, who won their game 47-24. to So we'll see how this plays out here as far as what kind of score we get. North Shore fired up. You heard them chanting here before they've taken the court and maybe to kind of psych out uh, Hafter, but there's Hafter. They're going to do the same thing on their bench as they will head out onto the floor here for this one. This one should be a lot of fun. North Shore, Hebrew Academy. They are in the white. They are the home team. And after the visiting team in the dark, I love both teams' uniforms. Fantastic. Both teams with their individual names on the back. Just really, really slick and good sportsmanship here before we tip this one off. This North Shore team, the number one seed, but this is a very deep field for this tournament this year. Last Yesterday, I got to see the number two team. They were very impressive. Valley Tora. And so this is a very deep field. And even though Hafter is the number nine seed, certainly a very capable team. Hafter with the ball to start things off. Moving it around the perimeter. Goldschmidt out there. Levy out there in the starting lineup. Corner three. That one is short. Not sure if it got partially touched or not. And it goes right into the hands of Eli Bacor. North Shore came out. They played zone defense. After, looks like they'll be in a man-to-man. Shai Altman running the offense for North Shore. Strong take, unfortunately doesn't go for Levian. Then the rebound, and he is fouled. And it looks like they're going to get Peter Drucker. Yeah, Drucker will be called for the foul there on the rebound, not on the shot attempt. So it'll be an inbounds play here for North Shore. Great feed from Jordan Zarke. Just dumped it inside. That's Ben Abizada. He has the first bucket of the game. Yeah, not a good job defensively there by after Just lost track of him on the inbound. And right underneath the basket, he's able to get an easy catch and score. Abizada, 6'4", 190-pound senior. Good defense by North Shore. They get the turnover. Good, good hands, hands there yep. by Altman. Power! Power! Altman defended by Levy. Man-to-man. -man. A little bit of contact on that drive. And it'll be a second foul against hey, Eli, Eli. Hafter. And already, Abizad has become a problem with his size. Not only is he tall, but he's wide as well. He's strong. It's that offensive rebound. Here's the three. That one is short. Another offensive rebound, but a big-time block there. Well, that was Drucker got his hand out. Big Paul out there to get the block. Goldschmidt down at the other end for three. No. So far, Hafter trying the three-point shot. You see North Shore, for the most part, attacking the basket, getting into the paint like they do right here. Beautiful dish. Jeremy Levian with the bucket. Great dish by Abizada. 4 nothing. North Shore early in this one. North Shore staying in that zone defense. Very active, though, that zone. And again, another deflection and a steal. Two on one. That's an easy deuce and a layup there for Abby Zada. And very quickly, Hafter calls for a timeout. 
as you mentioned, Eli, very active hands. They're getting deflections. They're turning it into layups. And North Shore with an early 6 0, 550 to go here in quarter number one in this tier one matchup. Same officials that we had last game. These guys are not messing around. Hear that second horn. They're playing. And we are back to action. They don't they don't schedule these games too far apart, so they gotta gotta keep the pace of the game going. Keep on that uh, that time schedule, right? All right, let's see what Hafter can do after that timeout. What Joey Honing and his staff had to say. And very deliberate with their ball movement. They get an open three and an offensive rebound by Drucker. Another three. Goldschmidt, short, gets his own rebound, puts it up. No. Three opportunities on that possession for Hafter. They're unable to cash in. Boy, great opportunity on that follow attempt there, but he just unable to get it to go. Levy had a good look. Missed on that pull-up. Again, they're going to get some open looks from three against the zone. That's a nice interception there as Abizada picks that pass off. But this zone defense, and they only gave up 24 points yesterday. They haven't given up a single one here in the first three minutes today. Oh, great feed. The cutter, and he missed it. That was Shea Alton. Got a great feed, unable to cash in, though. Drucker in the low post. They want to try to get it to him. A great size down low. Another open three and another miss, unfortunately as after has come out cold to start this one. Yeah, again, they're working the ball around the perimeter against this zone, getting it to move and getting some open looks, having to knock him down. If, if they can get it into Drucker there, even at the high post, that's going to make the zone collapse. You can pick it back out and maybe get some of those looks too. Spin move in the lane, floater, no. Offensive rebound, put back, yes. That goes for Bacor. Eli Bacor has his first bucket and it's 8-0 North Shore. If you're after, you can't let this one get away from you early. You Got to find a way to get some shots to go here. Two-three zone for North Shore. Right now, it's hard to penetrate it. They finally get it in the Drucker. He gets triple team. Yeah, good kick out. Kick it out. Extra pass. Get the three. It's as easy as that, right, Eli? That's that zone when he's getting it in there. If he gets it in there, they've got to collapse on him. That's going to open up those perimeter shots even more. Devin Levy with the triple. First points for Hafter. And it's an 8-3 game. About a five second? What? You... 10 seconds. Oh, he didn't get over the half court. Wow. He kind of lollygagged. Unfortunately, Shy Altman didn't get over the half court in time. A 10 second half court violation. That's a gimme right there. Can they cash in? They can! The three and he's fouled. Sam Syrian knocks down the three, and he got fouled on the play with a chance for a four-point play. Big-time shot right there. So back-to-back -back three pointers, and just like that, an eight-point deficit here. And if he can convert the free throw, we'll be down to one. The great equalizer, the three-point shot, and then when it turns into four, it's even, even better. Hey Siri, what's a four-point play? <laughs> Jonah Carmilli will check in now for North Shore. That was made possible by that backcourt violation. Volley gagging it up the court. Baseline J, no. Sharing the rebound. Drucker, oh, that's good defense. And they tie it up. Good job there by Abizada. 
All ball on that one. Jump ball. Alternating possession will give that to North Shore. Good move. Drucker didn't hesitate. He didn't hold on to the ball. He just went up and better defense. Yeah, no, no, really good defense. Sometimes that happens. Drucker's a big man down in that block. Good pump fake. Off balance shot. Off the mark there by Zarka. Another three. Way off the mark. Goes right into the hands of Drucker, and that got blocked. Abby Zada again. He's an athlete. Great play by Goldschmidt to get that deflection and knock it over to Drucker, but an even better defensive play. Oh, what a move underneath the bucket on another great feed. That's Carmilli who just checked in. He has his first points of the game. Ten seven game. North Shore with the lead. They opened up an eight nothing lead to start the game. Drucker spins, double team. That time they're going to call the body. He got the block, but he got him with the body, and they're going to call the foul there on Zarka. The Drucker's going to go to the free throw line to shoot two. Good call there. There was contact, and and they're going to double team. It looks like Drucker pretty much every time he touches the basketball. That time made the quick move, gets the foul. So I'm earlier with the kick out, which led to a three. He's made some good decisions when he's gotten the ball down there on the block. Peter Drunker, 6'5", 225, senior center. This is the first. One forty-three to play in this first quarter. Looked a lot better on that second free throw attempt. Two-point game. Carmilli now running the point for North Shore. Gets it back, overshoots it, rebound by Drucker. See, yeah, with this North Shore offense, a lot of rim runs, trying to get back doors, trying to get a lot of things right at the rim. After with a chance to tie it or take the lead with a long one. Good kick out from Drucker. That's a good shot. Good position. Yep. Inside out. If you want to get it to Drucker, give him an opportunity. And when he kicks it out, get the open look at the three. And fortunately for Hafter, it goes off of North Shore, and they'll retain possession. Drucker yesterday had 20 points in their win. He is an offensive weapon. It's single coverage there, just man-to-man. -man. They didn't double-team him that time. Great hustle. And a rebound by Goldschmidt. Got it to Levy. Three from the wing. No. And the rebound by Zarka. Or after it's going to come down to shooting those threes. Because, again, the one thing about Drucker, I mentioned he had 20 yesterday, but he's a very willing passer. And when he kicks it out, guys are going to get wide open looks. Step back by Abizada off the mark. A weird shot. He's got sideways rotation on his jump shot. Contact. And free throws coming up for Sam Searing. He of the four-point play earlier and a chance to tie this game up with 41.9 seconds to go in quarter number one. Avizana picks up the foul. First free throw made. We were told before the game that the pronunciation of his last name is Syrian, although in the program it says Siri, and on the back of his uniform it says Siri. We're going with their gentleman who does their games, told us. Makes both free throws. All tied at 10. 40 seconds to go. All got deflected out of bounds. Avizana backing down his defender, nearly shuffled his feet, and then an errant pass there, and here comes Hafter with a chance to take the lead. Under 10 now to play. Oh, great defense. They double-teamed 
Freud link. Down the lane, and it's blocked out of bounds. That was Carmilli tried to take it to the hole, got deflected out of bounds with .8 to go. Going to have to uh, hurry on this one. You can do a catch and shoot, and they do just that, but too hard off the glass. Boy, that was a great inbounds pass, and unfortunately for Abizada and North Shore, they weren't able to capitalize on that. So eight minutes in the books. Quick start for North Shore. Grabbed an 8 nothing lead to start things off, and then half the rallies, and we are tied after one quarter. North Shore 10, after 10. One quarter in the books here in this tier one matchup between the number one seed North Shore and the number nine seed Hafter alongside Eli Savoy. I'm Greg Gaston. North Shore, quick start. Now we're even at 10 as we get ready to start the second quarter. And let me get back to Sam Siri and correct myself. Uh, not Sam Siri, it was Sam Sin in the program. So we got that correction before the game. I think I said Siri, and it's Sam Siri and Sam. With a good start, he has five points. They put the ball right in play, and the officials are not messing around and had to hurry up Hafter and get the ball and get it in play. Great recovery by Hafter in that first quarter after falling down 8 nothing. Said he didn't want to let this thing get away from him. A nice job. Get back even here going into the second. Terrific ball movement. Corner three. That one, no. A battle for the loose ball and a tie up there is Carmilly's able to tie off Parkoff. Jump ball goes to North Shore here. They're going to run a play called Memphis. So we'll see what this is here in Memphis. They're running Memphis. Does it include barbecue of some sort? Uh, maybe a lot of sauce in this one. <laughs> That Memphis didn't work. Memphis unsuccessful here in Memphis. Here's a walk. Took a little bunny hop there, and that was a very active Avizada. He turns it over, and Hafter with the basketball tied at 10. You can probably hear Shalom Babayev in the background. He's right next to our table. He's the head coach of North Shore. And Joey Honig back from Israel, and he's heading right back. After this tournament, he's the coach of Hafter. Bad pass into traffic, stolen there by Eli Bacor. Good drop off for Bacor, the runner, no. Second chance opportunity now for North Shore. Let's run something. Let's run something. Yeah, this is a very disciplined North Shore team. You know, every pretty much every possession, they're running some sort of set. If it ain't a fast break basket, they want to make sure they run a set. Yeah, those sets included a lot of pick and rolls in that first quarter. They were getting in the hole. Another chance. Third chance opportunity, and Bacor is fouled as he drives to the hole. But it's a lot of rim runs like that. A lot. They, if, if your defender turns his back to you at all, you see guys going straight to the rim, diving to the basket, and it's a good passing team and able to draw the foul on that one. And this will be the first free throw shot in this game by North Shore. Eli Bacor, the 5'11", 145-pound junior guard. Knocks down the first. Got changes for both teams. Zarka is checking back in for North Shore. Kellen Hakimi also checking into the game. And Gangian, Noah Gangian will check in for the shooter. 
walked onto the floor while the shooter's still shooting. And he makes the second, and he will be replaced, but Core will. Or, or may not. He may not be. Trucker into the game, back into the game for Hafter. That was interesting why he didn't step onto the floor there, and he, I thought he was stepping in for the for the shooter, but he was not. 12-10, North Shore, as they make both free throws. Siri for the three from the corner. He hit a three-pointer at the other end, to the other side of the court. Turned that into a four-point play after getting fouled, and now Sam Siri hits another three. He's got nine points. Nine of the 13 for Hafter, who have the lead. And there's a steal by Parkoff. He's the one who did the damage there. He gets the return. Now it's Levy stepping in front of him, and he goes reverse off the window. Kevin Levy has five and a quick timeout being called by North Shore. 15 to four runs since that eight nothing start by North Shore and Hafter rolling here with a three point lead now. So we'll take the timeout as well. 5 15 remaining in the second quarter. 15 12 Hafter over the number one seed, North Shore. Five fifteen to go here in second quarter action. North Shore with the basketball and now trailing Hafter 15-12. You notice anything different that Hafter's doing defensively? I don't think so. I mean, it just the, it, early on in the game, it was North Shore was making a lot of those things. They got a couple of offensive rebounds, putbacks, things like that. But the biggest thing is they're just making shots on the offensive end. Well, they were playing a little man-to-man -man earlier. Now they're in a zone, but they have mixed it up in this game. Great defense again by Hafter. Going down hard on the floor, trying to pick up that number. Is that Rabanapur? Yeah, I believe it is. Came down maybe on his wrist. Oh, excuse me, that is Abizada. Abizada, excuse me. Abizada's left wrist, he's holding it a little bit as he walks back down the court. And hopefully he'll be okay. He is a key cog for this team. Still holding that wrist. Something to keep an eye on. B.B. Siri and Goldschmidt, perimeter players for Hafter, have done a good job in distributing the basketball. There's a pull-up off the mark by Levy. Zarka with the rebound will walk it up the court. Interesting coach Joey Honig telling Drucker, but you getting it that deep, go ahead and shoot it. That time Drucker didn't even look at the basket, kicked it right back out. Good hands. They get the loose ball, and now a two-on-one. Layup goes for Levy. One thing that after is doing defensively, they're doing a much better. They're just collapsing. When that ball comes into the paint, now they're collapsing on whoever's down there. We see mo everything North Shore is wanting to do is at the rim. And so after doing a much better job of just collapsing into the paint and taking that away. Well, they're not respecting the North Shore three-point shooting. They haven't really shot many. Have they even attempted a three? I think they attempted one. But, yeah, you get everything they do, everything is rim runs, trying to get in the paint. And once again here, but another nice job by Hafter to collapse and create another turnover. Yeah, quick hands. They're getting hands on the ball during dribble drive penetration. And then when the ball's on the ground, they're getting there first. Right now, they're just out hustling this North Shore team. Very vocal early on, got off to that 8 nothing lead, and now very quiet on their bench, which is to the left of us. 17-12 to 12 now. Hafter looking to pull the upset. Open three, short. Trucker the rebound. Got a whistle. 
and they're going to call a push on Drucker that he pushed to get space to get that rebound. Well, I don't, I, I don't like all that. He he may have put a hand on him, but he it certainly did not get him the rebound. He was going to get the rebound either way, and I don't think he really pushed the defender out of the way anyway. Yeah, you got to look and see. Combat sport. It's not boxing. I understand. It's not football. But you got to allow a little physicality, and there wasn't much there at all. I, I saw it the same way you did. And now that's two fouls on him. That's a big call right there. They cannot afford to hit him. Pick up his third. Well, will Coach Honig go to a replacement here for Drucker? Under three to go before halftime, or will he roll with Drucker with that possibility of picking up that third foul? 13, 13. North Shore's offense has just become discombobulated. Big reason is what Hafter is doing defensively. Zarka working one-on-one, fall away. No. That's just good man-to-man defense right there. That's outstanding defense by uh, Salem there. Or, no, it should be Parkoff. And that was just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think they did the old switcheroo with numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Parkoff is wearing number 24. Trucker had the ball stripped, but right back to a teammate, Goldschmidt. Gets it back. North Shore remains in that 2 3 zone. Levy from the wing for three. Got it! Levy second triple. He's in double digits with 10 points. Levy and Sam Siri have combined for 19 points, and the lead has ballooned to eight. Yesterday, Levy led them in scoring with 21. Off to another good start here in this one. Siri almost had a double-double yesterday. He's been good so far. And from an eight-point deficit to an eight-point lead here in this first half. Zarka, finally! They needed that one in the worst way. Jordan Zarka with the triple. 20 to 15. I doubt North Point, or North Shore rather, will get away from their their offensive concept, but maybe in the second half we'll see some more three-point shots as they've gone one for two. Under a minute to play. See if Hafter milks this for a final shot. Looks like that's what they're doing. This is not where they want Drucker to have the basketball. That's for sure. But it looks like they're trying to use this clock and hold for the final shot. Still 30 seconds. Oh, nice play. Yep. Nice defensive play. Siri had it trip. And it doesn't go, but a putback. That's got to be either a jump ball or a travel. Oh, they did call the traveling violation. Can't be. It can't be a no call. It's got to be one or the other, and they'll go with the travel. Well, Carmilli had a point blank layup after the steal, and he missed the layup. Unfortunate for North Shore. Had an easy two there, and it doesn't go. And now you would think again, Hafter will try to work for a final shot. Here comes Salem into the game. Ness Salem, who is wearing number two. Goldschmidt walks it across the time stripe. Levy working against Altman now. Seven seconds. Has to go. Got a moving screen from Drucker. Counted. 22-15, and they're not going to get a shot off. They could have easily called a moving screen on Drucker, but instead the bucket goes, and we have hit halftime here in Memphis. North Shore, the number one seed, got off to an 8-0 lead over half to but they have struggled offensively since. Got to give Hafter a lot of credit for knocking down threes. They've hit four triples, and at halftime, the nine seed leads the one seed by the score of 22-15. to We'll be back in just a few minutes for the start of second-half action here from Memphis.
Double check. Do you, do you think you're going to put two threes and need one? Oh, I think so. That's what I got back
Welcome back to the 14th Annual Cooper Yeshiva High School National Invitational Tournament. Day 2 action alongside Eli Savoy. I'm Greg Gaston. It's North Shore, the number one seed in Tier 1, taking on the nine seed Hafter as uh, both teams are heading back onto the hardwood for second half action. 22-15 Hafter. North Shore, Eli jumped out to that 8 nothing lead, and it looked like they were going to cruise, but give Hafter a lot of credit. They figured something out, now the seven-point lead. Yeah, and they did it with only one point in that first half from the big man in the middle, Peter Drucker, who also had two fouls. But the two guys in the backcourt, Siri and Levy, combining for 21 of their 22. They were outstanding. Levy getting that last bucket there and uh, an outstanding second quarter where they outscored them 12-5. to five. Did a much better job defensively of eliminating those backdoor cuts by North Shore, collapsing when guys got it in the paint. Now we'll see what kind of adjustments – North Shore makes, but if you want to know how to race an eight-point deficit, just ask Sue. <laughs> Jordan Zarka hit that three for North Shore. That was their only three of the first half. They only attempted a couple. Meanwhile, you had four triples made by the combination of Kevin Levy and Sam Siri. They each hit two threes. So here we go. Start of quarter number three as the winner – both teams will play tomorrow, but the winner obviously moving on in the winner's bracket to try to take home a Tier 1 title. North Shore with the ball. Home team in the white, the higher seed. After in the dark, Unis. There's a three right off the bat, and that one's off the mark. That was shot by Levy, and so maybe we'll see more of that here in the second half. Kind of a quick trigger, right? And it looks like one adjustment. They're going to go man-to-man. -man. I, I was wondering if maybe they would go man-to-man -man after... Levy and Siri had kind of figured out that zone defense, and North Shore going to come out in a man here in the second half. Very impressed with the combination of Levy, Goldschmidt, and Siri and their ability to swing the ball around and find open guys, mainly on the perimeter, and then try to dump it in when they can to Drucker, like now. Drucker working one-on-one. -on -one. There's a lot of contact. They're going to call a charge. Give credit to Jeremy Levian. Kind of did the old pull the pull the chair out trick. And that's a huge call. That's Drucker's third. So he picks up his third early on here. And I think against the man-to-man -man defense, that's where he can kind of get working. But now he's got three fouls, so he's got to be very careful to not get another one like that. What did you think of that? I, I think that's a at the, to me that should be a call to block. Yeah, I agree. Wasn't a lot of contact. Another three. Offensive rebound. Put back goes for Eli Bacor. He now has five points. Make that six points. And it's a 22-17 game. So we've seen North Shore already match their two three-point attempts from the first half in the first minute and change here in quarter number three. Yeah, clearly adjustments on both ends for North Shore. Now they got to figure out a way to actually make some of those threes. Another three-second violation. We've seen a, quite a few of those here. And now Drucker with the three fouls is going to go to the bench here as Parkoff checks in. Yeah, our last game, we saw a ton of the three-second violations. I believe this may have been the first one in this game so far. Altman with the basketball. There's the three. That goes for Jordan Zarka, his second triple now here in the third quarter. It's 22 to 20. I wondered about that three point shooting. They're bombing away here in the third. Yeah, he seems to be the guy they want shooting threes. He made the one earlier, makes this one now. So that seems to be their three point shooter. A lot of contact there as Goldschmidt took it to the rim. No call. And a chance now for North Shore to tie it up or regain the lead. They led at one point eight nothing in this one. Baseline jumper, front iron, no strong rebound, and then the putback by Levy, and he's fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. They'll get Park off, I believe. Only two free throws shot in the first half by North Shore. They made both. That one is well short. One more for Jeremy Levian, 6'1", 215, senior center. Bob 
5.31 to play in quarter number three. And it's a one-point game. I guess the question is for Joey Honing, the head coach of Hafter, how long do you keep Drucker out with three fouls? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, what does he want to try and sneak him back in here in this quarter, or is he going to wait till the fourth? But certainly, I think against the man to man, he's got a matchup that he could win, but that offensive foul was a huge call. Goldschmidt, good crossover. Nice delivery, and the foul counted for Parkoff. That was a great pass. Pass, and now a three-point opportunity. Well done. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's a nice move by Goldschmidt. Pressure defense, able to get around it, get into the lane. Much of what we saw from North Shore was getting into the lane in the first half here against this man-to-man. A nice job by a hafter to create opportunities in the paint. Parkoff unable to convert the three-point play. Nearly thrown away. It was saved, but right to Goldschmidt. Levy from the corner, in and out. Boy, that would have been a huge bucket right there for Hafter. I was thinking North Shore dodged a bullet right there on the turnover. That's going to be, oh, I was going to say an easy two. Wow. Jeremy Levy in point blank. They get it back, though. Bacor, a lot of contact, no call. Couple of opportunities there for North Shore. Levy and he's the great ball fake to get the defender out of his way, and then he just missed the easy one. Goldschmidt pulls up. Hey, hey, four, down. four to play in the quarter. 24-21. Still a one possession game. Jonah Carmilli will check in next stop. Pretty good drive there by Abizada. They, they have missed some easy ones here. Levy, nope. Go, go, go! This is what we saw from them in the first half. They want to slow it down a little bit more. And now another big three. And he is the three-point shooter, Zarka, for this team. He's got three of them now. Well, this is where Hafter has to recognize that this is the guy shooting the threes. And he's knocked down three of them now, and we are tied at 24. We got a timeout on the floor. Who called the timeout? Not sure. I believe it was Hafter. 319 to go in the third quarter. We're tied at 24. Correction on that timeout called. It was called by North Shore with 319 to play. Game now tied at 24. Levy, Goldschmidt, Freundlich, Parkoff. All on the floor. There's Parkoff on a great dish by Sam Siri. Yeah, great position there. Parkoff was able to get the man sealed, and then a nice find by Siri to reward him for his hard work getting the position. Carmeli Bacor, Abizada. Oh, a great feed. He blew the bunny. Fantastic pass there by Zarka. Lots of missed layups for North Shore here in this second half. Siri, no. Parkoff got the offensive rebound and gave it away. 
Well, he's given them good minutes, though, in place of Peter Drucker. Zarka, not that time. A little bit of contact after that shot, but no call there. You have to give the shooter room to come down. Shalom Babayev wanted a call there. Levy, great take by Levy. Yeah, these guards, he and Goldschmidt, both seem to be able to get into the lane whenever they want against this man-to-man -man defense. 14 now for Levy. After leading 28 to 24. Good move. Going to the left hand is Abizani. Beats Parkoff off the dribble. Finally, somebody makes one of those layups. They're getting to the rim. But they're just not finishing. Half dozen now for Ben Abizada. Levy got a screen from Parkoff after he got the dump off pass and missed. Really outside of Zarka, not many of these guys on North Shore even look at three-pointers. Siri looks at threes. And he hits threes. His third triple of the game, 12 points, and you can't be happy if you're Coach Babayev. Just nobody recognized, and that's a shooter right there. you got to get your hands up. Lead back to five for a hafter. Under a minute to play in the third quarter. Spin into a double team. Abizanda turning it over. Siri wide open again. Back to back triples by Siri. He was calling for it. He was clapping his hands. He was wide open. Good find by Levy. Siri knocks down another one and suddenly it's back to an eight point game here after North Shore had tied it back up. North Shore working for a final shot. Down eight. Three seconds to go. Turnaround jumper, no. Off the mark by Bacor. Good defense there by Hafter. And a frantic end of that third quarter with Siri hitting back-to-back -back threes. And all of a sudden you look up and it's an eight-point game. Yeah, nice job by North Shore to get back in and got it even. But then a great response by Hafter. And what was a very quick third quarter. That flew by. There were very few stoppages in that third quarter. Well, the number one seed in Tier 1 is on the ropes right now. They throw after after three by the count of 34-26. We're coming right back with fourth quarter action. Ball was put in play. North Shore wasn't on the court, and they have to foul intentionally there. Are they counting the bucket? Unbelievable. Again, the second horn blows. They put the ball on play by just putting the ball on the ground. The official does. We're going to call an intentional foul, which is the correct call. Yeah, no bucket. Intentional foul. They put the ball in play, and... North Shore was not on the court ready to go. Well, we have seen these two officials in coming out of timeouts, coming out of any break. If you are not ready on that second horn, they're going to put the ball in play one way or another. That's three fouls on Zarka. 
And a big opportunity here now. Siri at the free throw line. Chance to make this a double-digit lead, and then they'll have the basketball. It's kind of the double whammy as Siri makes the free throw. You have Zark, as you said, commits his third foul. The one guy who's given you that outside shooting and that lift, you don't want him doing that. But he recognized what was going on, and he went over to prevent the bucket. But Siri makes the two free throws, and they'll get the basketball. Yeah, in retrospect, now you wish you'd have just given him the layup and moved along, but get the two points. Now they get the basketball. They double-digit lead here. They can afford to be very patient now if they want and run some clock. And a nice cut by Siri, although he's unable to finish that one. Has could've to be a, more difficult for Siri to make. Could have been a four-point possession for Siri right there. 17 now for Sam Siri. Dribbled right off the foot of Parkoff. And the lamp goes for Levy. Oh, what a beautiful little step through that was on that layup by Levy. 12-point lead now. And what a turnaround. This game from 8 nothing start by North Shore. Now they trail it by 12 here early in the fourth. And they're searching for answers. The number one seed is on the ropes. Yeah, let me correct myself. That was Abi Zada who spinned, and he dribbled it right off the foot of Siri. It popped right up there for Kevin Levy to take it to the hole. And, boy, I'll tell you, the combination of Siri and of Levy, they have come through big time for Hafter. 7.31 to play. North Shore in all kinds of trouble down 38-26. Levy and Siri have combined for 33. Is that what you have? I think I have it. Yeah, 33 of the 38. I mean, it, it, they just have, <laughs> North Shore just has not had an answer for those two guys. Uh, they continue to dominate this game, and unless North Shore figures something out to slow those guys down, they're going to be in trouble here, and we could see the number one seed go down. Does North Shore have another three-point shooter other than Zarka? Because if you're Hafter, you got to be on Zarka, and there's a two for Zarka. But you have to be on top of him if he's the only guy that's going to shoot threes because right now when you're down double digits, that may be the only thing to get you back into the game. Yeah, Zarka yesterday almost had a double-double. He gets into double digits here. Bocor was the one yesterday with 16 points, but only six so far in this one. Levy lost the dribble. What's the call? I believe Bocor was standing out of bounds when he touched the ball, so. And there's no shot clock, so you don't have to worry about that. They'll be very deliberate with the basketball, leading by 10 and only 6.40 to play. Here's a perfect example with Goldschmidt. Three from the corner goes for James Goldschmidt, his first points. Even though he hasn't scored, he's done a lot of positive things, and that one makes it a 13-point game. You know, they took Peter Drucker out of the game with the three fouls, and they've just extended the lead. It's really they've spread the floor and been able to knock down three since he's been out, and now a turnover here by North Shore. Zarka throws it away. Again, this is worth repeating with North Shore. Undefeated last season. We know what they did. Number two in the country this year, but they've lost two key players. I was told they're two best players, and I don't have more information than that, but this is a team that certainly is not at full strength. It doesn't take away what Hafter's doing right now, up 13 on the number one seed in Tier 1. Yeah, no doubt about it. You know, Abby Zana had the thumb injury. He's been one that was a uh, out with an injury but back, and then Jordan Zarka is one of the other guys that they look for, but they were without uh, their Jonah Carmilli. Um, he's the one that he's the one that has shin splints and he hasn't been able to do what he normally as far as playing the minutes and everything else they expect out of him. Yeah, he's been on minute restriction. Held the two points in this particular game. 
But again, fundamentally sound this after team. What they were able to do to adjust after trailing 8-0 early. Park off in the game, kicks it out. Three-pointer off the mark by Freundlich. And again, North Shore has become discombobulated. They're now kind of yapping at each other. The communication is poor, and they are in a lot of trouble here. And here, Carmilli again going to come out of the game. He's going to get a technical. Technical foul on Carmilli, as you said, Eli. A lot of frustration right now for North Shore, and I'm sure Carmilli's frustrated. He's not able to play on the minutes he normally does or two at the level he normally does coming back from the injury. So a lot of frustration setting in right now for North Shore as this one continues to get away from them. So Siri to the free throw line, shooting the technical. And I don't know if what he said was directed at the fish. I don't think it was. But what he said, you just don't want to say right in front of the official. No, no. But he was about, uh, he was basically right in the face of the official walking off the court. Second technical free throw missed by Siri this time. That's his first miss after making his first six free throws. He has four triples as well in this game. Not sure if our uh, microphone picked up what he said or not. He <laughs> yeah. said it right here in front of us as well. I'm not sure if the microphone picked that up or not. If it did not, we will not tell you what he said. You can use your imagination. 42-28, 14-point game. You got to start fouling, you would think, if you're North Shore. And a timeout called by Joey Honig of Hafter. He has uh, called it about five times. He was jumping up and down there for a second, trying to get somebody's attention to give him that time. Well, I can also understand the plight of these officials. There's two games next to each other. There's so much going on. There's so much noise with horns going everywhere and whistles and guys screaming for timeouts. But you got to be able to at least acknowledge, look over, and see that they're calling for that timeout. So here's the situation. you got two team fouls committed by North Shore. Five would put Hafter on the free throw line. And again, unless you're going to rain a bunch of threes to get back into this thing or get a bunch of steals, Hafter's just going to dribble and dribble and be delivered offensively. So you're going to have to foul them, foul them quickly, and get them to the free throw line and hope they miss a bunch of free throws. Yeah, I would expect more. I, to me, I think what they're, I would expect them to do is just really start pressuring the basketball. You need to create turnovers. I mean, that's, that's you're, you're count, counting on them to miss a bunch of free throws. You need to create turnovers and then hopefully get some easy buckets out of them. So I would expect to see North Shore go and go hard pressure on the basketball here. Now, the problem is after have really good guard play with Levy and with Goldschmidt and with Siri. So that right, is not exactly easy. But here again, do you do see the big time pressure? And if they do call the foul on you, okay, but they're going to keep putting you know, trying to get the pressure and get the turnovers off of it. Yeah, but Core called for the foul there. And you try, like you said, you like try to get the steal. If you can't get the steal, you got to foul right away. Great backdoor cut, Goldschmidt, and he missed the layup. And then they call a jump ball. That's Josh Abrani in the game, number one for North Shore. And that's one thing when a team is trying to pressure the basketball that much, it opens up for some backdoor cuts, which Goldschmidt did beautifully. He just didn't finish the layup. Ebrani inside among the Giants. He's not a big guy. Side of the backboard three attempt there by Abizada. And now Carmilli's going to give it another shot. He's going to check back in. And a timeout on the floor with 4.21 to play. It, it may be just a, a case of they don't have enough outside shooters, and when you fall behind this much, you're, you're in trouble. Zarka's that one guy. Yeah, again, he's the only one that really has even looked. At, and Abby Zada, that, that his shot, he's got that sideways rotation on a shot. It's a weird-looking shot. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what 
you know, as far as three point percentages and who these these guys are, but but certainly in this game, Zarka is the only guy who's looked comfortable shooting three pointers. Amizana got off to a quick start. He has six for the game. Did he score all those six in the first quarter? He scored four in the first. Four of the he six. Two okay. in the third. Yeah, he got off to a quick start. It was eight to nothing, and North Shore looked the part of the number one seed. Looked like they would blow Hafter out of the building. And really, from that halfway point of quarter number one, it's been pretty much all Hafter. They have dictated. They've done some different things defensively. Offensively, their ball movement is spectacular. They're hitting threes. And again, this is the nine seed, 421 away from upsetting the one seed. Yeah, and again, they've uh, they've done a great job here in the second half. Once Drucker, the big man who had 20 points, six rebounds yesterday, only one point today. He picked up the third foul on a tough call and an offensive foul. He goes out of the game. You wondered where it would go, and they've done nothing but extend the lead since then. Steal. Layup, no, off the mark by Carmilli, and a rebound for Hafter. That's the way this day has been going, unfortunately, and nobody's back to defend, unfortunately, for North Shore. And a layup there. Again, they're chasing the basketball, trying to create pressure, trying to create turnovers, and just Goldschmidt was able to get down there and nobody even noticed him. And a strong take by Zarka, unable to get it to fall. And North Shore will retain possession, 3.53 to play. And that's another, that the really a big part of the second half has been North Shore's gotten a ton of looks at the rim yes. that they just have not been able to finish. And now here's another turnover. That was just a bad pass. And Goldschmidt played it like a defensive back. Over the shoulder, interception, gets the turnover. See, they're overplaying everything. This is an opportunity for, for backdoor cuts. Good kick by Siri. Three from the corner off the mark by Freundlich. Back come the Lions of North Shore. Air ball on the three attempt by Zarka. Altman will try a three. Well, that was a side spin on that one as well. Here's a two-on-one. Siri got the defender to commit, but then a real hard pass to handle. Too late. Too late on that pass. Once he got to that point, you got to just go up with it yourself. Probably could have gotten the foul if he didn't get the bucket. Every possession now is a must score for North Shore, basically, and that's going to be an offensive foul. I believe that is Zarka's fourth foul. No doubt about it, just spinned and drilled Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt's one of those guys that, you know, brings the lunch pail to work every day. You want on your team. Takes the charges, does all the dirty work. Yeah, he's done a great job. You know, he's only scored five points. He didn't score at all in the first three quarters, but – he sets up a lot of what they do offensively. Very intelligent basketball player. And once they kind of started overplaying, he's been able to get some back doors and some easy buckets that way. And on the defensive end, they're drawing the charge. And that, he took a big-time shot right there. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, he took a shot to the face. Kind of walking off gingerly, being helped off by his coach. Salem is checked in. Ness Salem. Just great passing. Just they anticipate where their teammate's going to be and really spread the wealth. Yeah, and, and no hurry to get any shots up. Two and a half to play. You got a foul if you're North Shore, right? One more puts Hafter on the free throw line, but that's what you have to do. That one goes. The rainbow for Freundlich, his first points, hits the two. 46 28. And Coach Shalom Babaya maybe just waving the white flag now. Searing layup. Impressive showing here by Hafter. The number nine seed. So they were not even expected by seed to win yesterday in the first round. They get that win. And now against the number one seed, come out here, fall down eight to nothing. And now lead it by 20. In the meantime, North Shore cannot buy a bucket. Cannot buy a bucket. There's another foul. 
after yesterday beat Cats Storm. You were alluding to that 73 to 66. And now today in the battle of teams from New York, after from Lawrence, New York, North Shore from Great Neck, New York, a 20 point lead with a buck 38 to go. This one is all over with the exception of what the final score will be. They're going to pull off the upset and move on in tier one of this terrific tournament. So the, and they won it to that when they won it in 2014, they were the six seed. Now they'll go into the semifinals as the nine seed this year. This is a, uh, this is a very dangerous after team. Again, good guard play. When you get great guard play like this, guys knocking down shots, you certainly have a chance to beat anybody. And this has been an absolutely impressive domination here since that early start where they fell down 8 nothing to completely dominate the number one seeds of the tournament. That's a great point. The first game you and I did today, we saw a team that won with great guard play, and that's what's happening here in this one. Especially, I mean, in today's basketball, the three-point shot has become such a big part of it. And if you've got guys who can knock down the three and who just, you know, you can take care of the basketball and avoid turnovers. And that's what these teams we've seen with these good guards. Like they're just not turning the ball over. We've seen North Shore have a problem with finishing at the basket, but also some turnovers as well that have led to easy baskets. And really, outside of Zarka, nobody on their team able to knock down a three at all. Levy has 18. Sam Siri has 20. They have combined for 38 points, 50 to 28. A bunch of subs in the game for both teams. Kellen Hakimi is in the game for North Shore. Levy, after the 21-point performance yesterday, coming back with 18 in this one. He's been absolutely outstanding. Max Balsk in the game for Hafter. Good drive and a bucket there for Gangian, who has just checked in. Noah Gangian. Got, I think it was being blown. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we got a uh, another sub. Time out here to get a sub into the game. That'll be Josh Lax. He will check into the game. He will replace Kevin Levy. Eitan Hazan is in the game. For Hafter, also Noam Gelb. Ryan Schenkman is checked in. For North Shore, two coaches kind of going at it here a little bit about a timeout just to get some subs in. Yeah, Joey Honig just wanted to call the timeout to get the sub in, but Shalom Babayev is saying uh, timeout's a timeout. He wanted to talk to his team, um, and they didn't let that happen. So We see that sub timeout all the time, though. I've, I've seen it so many times yeah. with Memphis Tigers basketball. They'll sub to get a – well, again, Walk think, on also, in at the it, end of the game. It, it's a 20-point game with a minute to go. I, I I understand that Coach Babai wants to talk to his team, but really at this point, what's it matter? <laughs> what are you going to say, right? Block from behind by Gelb. Under a minute to play. There's a steal. Bounce with the steal. Double team now. Traveling violation there? Or they call a foul? I think they called the travel. And they did. It's gotten a little gotten a little sloppy here. It has. But again, an impressive showing by Hafter. Down eight nothing to the one seed. I was told about this North Shore team that they're really good, but they're missing some players, a couple of players with, with minutes restriction. And that they're still really good. And when they started 8 nothing, Eli, I thought, oh, here we go, man. This team is fundamentally sound doing these set pieces. They're getting backdoor cuts. This is phenomenal basketball. And let's give a lot of credit to Joey Honing again. Let's give that guy credit just for what he has done. Yeah, no kidding. It's obviously an amazing story. You see why he wanted to be here to coach his team in this tournament. He's got a really good team, and he knows it, and they are uh, on their way to the semifinals. Another whistle. Not sure exactly what that was, but it goes against Hafter. 3.9 seconds to go. Inside half court, that shot is off the mark by Michael Levy, who just checked in for North Shore. And this one is over. A convincing, impressive win by Hafter as they take out the number one seed in Tier 1 play, 50-30 to 30, Hafter over North Shore.
Yeah, just uh, again, what a really impressive performance. You know, down eight nothing early on. That one, you wondered against the number one seed, could it just get away from Hafter? Not only did they not let it get away from, they just completely took over the game. And defensively, from that point, when you consider that North Shore had, had that eight points in the first few minutes of the game, and then they only scored 22 for the rest of the game. Really a great job of Hafter turning up the defensive pressure, knocking down shots, and just pulling away and pulling off the upset here over the number one seed. The Levy Siri combination coming through big time for Hafter. There's a little action on court number one, but pretty much uh, we'll call it a day here from the Memphis Sports and Event Center. But the action continues tomorrow, day three of four days worth of terrific basketball at the Cooper Yeshiva High School National Invitational Tournament, the 14th annual. I want to thank our entire crew from my partner, Eli Savoy. I'm Greg Gaston. Enjoy your day, everybody. Like the one goes off and the half full timeout. Yes. Well, he was just going by the ref.